it's your girl Shay and I am back with another video and welcome back to living like Shay and so as you can tell in the title today's video is going to be about 10 tips on how we can glow up okay how we can start that journey all right if you are new to my channel don't be afraid to sit there and hit that subscribe button i hope you find this video so informative and i hope that it makes you want to be a part of this community be a part of this family because that is literally what we are and on this channel don't forget to hit that like comment and subscribe button if you want to watch this video and let's get into it just keep on watching i am in a season of wanting to glow up okay wanting to elevate my life i'm trying to figure out the aspects of my life to where I want it to just grow. I want to become better, okay, from the inside pouring out, all right? I already have a lot of self-confidence. Like, that's something that no one can ever take away from me. That is just my personality. I think so highly of myself, but, like, now I'm trying to incorporate that into my daily living and reach the goals that I aspire to do so. Reach the goals that I want, okay? And I feel like these tips are going to help me do that. And they're going to help you guys do that, too, because we are going to be on this journey together, okay? Like, I'm starting out right here right now today on this journey and I'm bringing you guys along with me we're gonna we're gonna glow up together we're gonna reach our heights together okay and that's just what we're gonna do and a lot of this information that I'm gonna pour into you guys today is simply researched and like I watch a lot of like inspirational motivational like glow up videos on YouTube shout out to Jazz Turner she's probably like my number one right now in sense of like how I can glow up and what are the tools that I need to do in order to do that and so I just want to share you share those things with you guys from my perspective and how they incorporate and work into my life okay um so if you hear me reference her name a lot in this video simply it's just because like I just like her okay and I like everything that she's about okay so the first tip in this video is gonna simply be a change of scenery okay that can be like a new home for you and or a new apartment apartment if you're still in like that college era of your life okay or not even in the college area like you're simply just now getting out of college now you are trying to figure out what it is that you need to do to level up and move out of that era of your life okay once you graduate college like the price really be going up at the at that moment so you're trying to figure out how you can get out of that mindset maybe a new apartment is something that you have been wanting to do you just didn't know how to do it and this would be your time to do that okay like maybe you are in an apartment right now and you're in the process of wanting to look for a new home like I still live with my mom after I graduated college I definitely came back home to save money and I'm in the process of wanting to move into a house like we're actually gonna buy a house together and just Keep that as our, our family home, our family unit to where my kids and my brother's kids like can all come back to and just have something there for us. And so that is what we are trying to do right now. A change of scenery will literally benefit you so much okay you might be in an apartment where it is like no sunlight no like everything is just depressing and you want to become something where it's like okay I need some type of sunlight in this apartment and I'm gonna move into something with like tons of windows just so I can have some sunlight in the mornings like my room right now is like there's this particular window and the sun shines through it every single morning even if I don't want it to like I have no curtains on my windows so literally it comes in every single day and it wakes me up every single day so if that is the type of situation where you're like I need windows then get into that new home get into that new apartment where a lot of sunlight will literally bring you so much joy okay I'm not saying that that window brings me joy every single day it is not it actually irritates me that the window is right there but honestly it kind of wakes me up and gets me like uplifted in a way in a sense because of the way that it's like shining through my window shining through okay another aspect of like change of scenery could be like a new friend group okay there's like a whole discussion about new about you having friends that simply do not support you okay you don't want to be in that situation girl like why would you hang around people that don't support you they don't even like you for real like that is a whole different conversation for a whole video 
another video that's coming soon don't don't think i won't don't think i won't post it because i actually have a lot to say on that topic okay take yourself out of that situation get some new friends okay i heard on this podcast that i have been watching recently and listening to it's called balanced black women and actually jazz turner was on this podcast and she said if you are the smartest person in your friend group you're not benefiting you're not learning anything from like the people that are around you you need to find another circle I resonate with that so much because like the people that I hang around now I learned so much from them guys like I don't know we kind of feed off of each other and that is a type of like situation relationship fam friendship that I feel like benefits me at the moment where I'm feeding off of somebody else like in the sense of laughs or like motivation or just simply daily living okay remove yourself from that situation if you're not benefiting from it and then this also ties into my next point which is going to be like your career your job something that you're doing that you are making money from you can be in a situation where you're not happy but like this is what pays the bills um another a tip for you right if you're in that situation is Find a new hobby that you can later on monetize, okay? YouTube is a hobby for me right now, but I feel like I gained so much, like, confidence from it to the sense of where, like, I want to keep doing it and, like, monetize from it later on, okay? God willing, monetize from it later on. Like, that is why I keep coming back here. That's why I keep posting. That's why I'm trying to, like, be consistent. That's why I'm trying to be consistent with uploading and just getting my name out there because that is the type of situation that I want to be in in the long run. Nah, it's 2024. We're not going to keep doing things that make us unhappy, okay? No. Life is too short for you to be sitting behind a desk that you don't even like, that you around people that you don't even like, around situations that you don't want to be in. Like, girl, if you want to be a nail tech, go be a nail tech. I know that stuff is super expensive because I have a gel X machine over there that costs so much money that I don't even use. But nonetheless, if that's what you want to do, it's a lot of girls out here making money off of becoming nail techs or lash techs. Esthetician. Like, I know esthetician school is super expensive, but like, if that's what you want to do, that's what you're going to want to do. The best person to invest in, best situation to invest in is yourself. You got to spend money to make money. So just think in your head when you're in those types of things and you're trying to figure out what it is that you want to do. No pressure, no diamonds. That's tea. All right, so our next tip in this video is going to simply be a routine. And that can be from like skincare to making your bed every single day. I am going through a situation where... I don't ever make my bed up, but obviously I'm trying to create a routine that creates habit, that creates consistency and stability for me. So this entire past week, I have literally been making my bed every single day and giving myself a pat on my back. The small wins count too, guys. Okay, I'm just letting you know, it's okay. However small your routine is, make it happen and don't sit there and say, well, this doesn't even count as a routine. It does, okay? Making your bed counts as your morning routine. Like a lot of the girlies are on top of like their skincare routines and their workout routines and going to the gym every day. You're a 5 a.m. girly. I am so happy for you, but there's people out there like me who are not 5 a.m. girlies okay I will actually never be a 5 a.m. girly because I like to sleep and I hate getting up in the mornings before the sun come out like that doesn't even make sense maybe next week we'll try something new where we'll be like a 6 8 6 37 a.m. girly and we can get up consistently to create that habit to become that speaking of stability okay our next point is gonna be organization as somebody that overthinks I have to have stability in my life. It only makes sense for me. I Organization is one of the most things that I pride in. And I don't clean my room every single day. Like, my room be dirty most of the time. But every everything in my room has its place. And that is literally where it is right now. Okay? My makeup goes into my little makeup drawers. And I have them in there. Regardless of how they look in there, that's where they go. And they know that's where they go. So that's where they are. Like, guys, get rid of things that you don't need you sitting with clothes in your closet right now you know you can't fit you know you're not gonna ever wear them girl 
get those out of your closet somebody else can benefit from those clothes you're never going to wear that stuff okay like no offense but you're not get that out the closet put it in a bag and take it to goodwill okay as somebody that buys clothes almost every month for no reason i have tons of clothes that i give away all the time where i would just go and take it out and just put it in there okay get rid of that stuff declutter your space it's an uplifting feeling like just declutter your room declutter your space if you stay with your parents like i do and your room feels like so enclosed it's such a small space like get rid of stuff organize stuff optimize your room purchase organizing bins where you can put things at in your room i saw on the podcast the same podcast balanced black woman she said that there was a girl that used to throw clothes or whatever in a corner in her room every single day she ended up getting an organizer bin that was like for darks whites and then towels in that same corner she's throwing the stuff optimize your room okay use every crevice of your apartment if you feel like it's cluttered declutter it and so the next tip on our list is gonna be changing your social media environment i actually don't do this okay i actually just i like am pretty sure i have followed a lot of celebrities a lot of influencers my entire social media career simply because like that is what you do but i saw this on jazz turner's video as well where she said to get rid of things on social media that don't really benefit you either like they don't motivate you they actually do nothing for you okay so this is one thing that i am gonna try to do like especially on instagram i know instagram is like very organized and that's why i like it kind of organized and that's why i like instagram but like i am actually tried this and went on an unfollow spree like last night or yesterday um where i unfollowed people i don't talk to anymore celebrities that like don't motivate me they don't benefit me i don't gain anything from them like a ton of celebrities okay like i didn't realize i was following that many people and i was okay like instead i'm following like people that motivate me motivational um quotes like pages and instead of getting all of the gossip on instagram like i don't even that stuff's not even on my explore page okay so like that can be something that you can try to have positivity in your life if that is the only place that you get it at the end of the day like have it there because like we're always on our phones we're always on social media so you want it to be you're gonna see that and it's gonna uplift you if you're having such a rough day or a rough week and i kind of like resonate with that all right I'm always on social media. I'm always on TikTok. I'm always on Instagram. I feel like that is one thing that is going to stick out and is going to stick with me because we're always on that. Now, TikTok on the other hand is where I get my tea. It's where I learn how to cook even though I already know how to cook. I'm a very good cook. And that's why I do like my makeup stuff. So I feel like TikTok is TikTok in its own sense of like very much for fun. Okay, like I'm gonna definitely want to find out who's beefing this week on TikTok. And that's okay. Like TikTok is not, I'm not ready to like get rid of that stuff. Even though like I don't really show, like I don't really go to my followers page. Even though it's a lot of like makeup girlies or influencers. Because it's all on my For You page. So like I rarely even look at the follow list to be honest. Because I will see it on my For You. I think following influencers that kind of like resonate with who you are and they you get a lot out of like following their daily lifestyles or following like their situations that they go through or that they even let us in on I think that that can benefit your life in some way so definitely go and like research and see what type of people it is that you want to see on your um explore page or on your feed we all follow the same people and so they might not you they might not resonate with you at all actually so that means that you need to unfollow them they're not benefiting you at all like something that my boyfriend says all the time did they are they paying our bills did they pay you today and i hate when he said that but like he be speaking facts with that because like literally did they and so that's how you have to see it another tip on our glow up journey is gonna be journaling okay this is something that i don't do at all like i actually tried to do it before but like i just don't set out enough time to sit down and like write down my thoughts okay like i think i started trying to do it whenever i like became really heavy on content creation so i was like sitting down like thinking 
drawing out like my plan or whatever or like ideas and then I would sit there and like journal but like I stopped doing that because um I just never set out enough time to do it so I think incorporating this into like my daily lifestyle or trying to like figure out times if that's like once a week to sit there and like write down all my thoughts I'll do it okay as somebody that like overthinks about everything I think this is something that I'll benefit from, okay? Like, if you're that person that overthinks about every situation, I overanalyze every situation in my life is thought out, it is planned out, like, this is for you, okay? Sometimes when people, sometimes, you know, your friends, your man, whoever, they don't really be deserving the the well thought out plan okay just just write it down write it down write down everything that you're thinking in your head and maybe like you'll get some type of release from it like journaling is kind of like another form of therapy in a sense because like yes you're not talking to another person but like you're writing down your thoughts you're decluttering your mind and I resonate with that because I just be needing that sometimes so also another thing like that you can do with this journaling journey is write down something that you want to do in the future and then maybe like five years from now like a five-year plan in a sense you can come back and like look at it and be like oh, yes I'm doing this 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 I didn't quite get to that yet but we're still working on it or like just write down stuff and then like try to go back and read through it and see if that's something that you eventually got through like journaling is just for you to get the certain situations out of your head and out of your mind and I feel like this is something that I am seriously gonna continue to try to do and really sit there and do it and not think about it another tip on this low up journey is gonna be like going on solo dates now sometimes as women we sit there and think about how people are judging us in certain situations okay and this is one of those situations we don't like to do this because we don't want to seem embarrassed and like like we can't go on an actual proper date okay sometimes going on a solo date is literally what you need being by yourself out you don't want to really be around your friends you don't want to be around your man you just want to be alone but you want to be out of the house go on that solo date that can look so differently too like going to get a pedicure solo date if you work from home going to a coffee shop instead of like being in your house being at your desk going and getting some work done at that place just being outside being a change having a change of scenery like going on solo dates is like trying out new restaurants like different things try those things and do that i feel like this will give you a self sense of like confidence and self self concept okay like being able to sit there and do that like this is something that i don't do i have social anxiety so like even I even going out with like my friends and my man like I seriously <sighs> hate it maybe I won't be able to do this one I'm gonna try but like maybe I won't and actually guys we are speaking positive things into our life so I'm not gonna say that I won't do it I'm gonna try it and see how it works out for me because like we're on a globe journey okay no no negative thoughts I actually on my snapchat memories it just popped up from when it was like my last year in college like I was about to graduate like two weeks from this time I went out to 6th street by myself even though I was gonna be meeting like people there but like I was by myself for a whole minute because my friend was working and I was not around her like I need that girlie to come back the confidence that exuded from that person yeah she was that girl okay so we're gonna we're trying to get her back we're trying to get her back okay so the next tip is gonna be setting boundaries for ourselves. okay so that can be anywhere from like the friendships the relationships that you are in to you setting a boundary that you're not gonna go out on saturday night so you can get up for church saturday sunday morning like that's a boundary too and that's actually a very good boundary to have like yes we are i am in a stage where like going out is not as fun as as fun for me like i was going out like every weekend okay type stuff and now i'm you know i'm still young but like i would rather stay inside or i would rather go to like a amusement park than go out on a saturday night okay like i want to do something fun i don't want to just sit there and no so that is a boundary that you can set for yourself stop being 
a yes girl stop being in situ stop being that person in situations where we're accepting things that we don't need to be accepting if you get into a situation and you are allowing them to treat you any kind of way girl stop set that boundary accept that boundary let that person know that that's the boundary and if they stick inside it stick inside it last night i was watching just all of the Medea plays, okay? And don't ask me why I was watching them. I was watching them from yesterday, like, afternoon to last night, okay? And in Medea Goes to Jail, Tyler literally is speaking facts, okay? And he said, any situation, any friendship that you get in, okay, you have this circle of things that you want out of it and these are your boundaries he didn't say boundaries but i'm saying boundaries these are your boundaries in this circle and then you let people inside of the inside and you tell them this is what i accept this is what i want to do and this is how it's going to be done this is these are the things that i need from this situation they will either be able to accommodate or they won't be able to fix it and the people that don't that don't want to fix it or aren't able to fix it are the ones that you don't need to be that you don't need to have in your life but if you have those people that are trying to be there trying to do this they are actually trying you need to keep them around and when i heard that i said babe that is tea okay so just think about that when you're setting boundaries like and you're in these situations friendships included like set those boundaries don't be a yes woman teach people how to treat you and if you're teaching them to treat you bad, they're going to always treat you bad. T. And then the next one is so very important. It's probably one of the most important ones. And this is like speaking affirmations to yourself, okay? If you don't already do this, you should be incorporating this in your every day. Every single day when you wake up. Affirmations. To tie back into routine, like sit there and write down five things that you love about yourself, okay? I, I am beautiful, I am smart, I have a good job, I love pizza, I am God-fearing. Like write those down in your journal and then you're going to speak those things into you every single morning for an entire week and I promise you, it is going to feel very motivating, very uplifting, like you're speaking positivity into yourself. So we were speaking of affirmations, and I think that speaking of positivity into your life will create this type of aura around you, and it will help you become the person that you're destined to be, the person that you're trying to be, okay, in this glow up journey. And the last tip on this glow up journey, we're starting it, is going to be listening to podcasts, okay? I listen to several different types of podcasts, okay? Like different, different vibes, honestly, just because of the person that I am. I listen to, as I've been speaking about so much in this video, the Balanced Black Girl, Black Woman podcast. I listen to um, It Is What It Is with Mace Cameron. And I think her name is Treasure William Wilson. And that, pack, that podcast seriously is so funny to me. Like Cameron is hilarious, okay? And they talk about a different variety of things on there. So I really love that one. And then I also listen to Too Personal with Joy Taylor and Taylor rooks both of that podcast is like one of my favorites out of the other ones just because like they kind of talk about navigating like girl world and being you know getting older and what to do in every situation so i really love that one as well and then a new one that i just kind of found um like the other day on youtube is it's called balanced theory podcast and i think that i am trying to get into that balanced type of vibe and so I am gonna be still searching for some but like those are the ones that I have been listening to and I think that they have helped me so much in knowing what to accept knowing what not to accept and just being a better person now we can listen to podcasts in different areas of our day like I listen to them in the gym in the car when I'm walking in the morning is when like I'll get on the YouTube and um just kind of like scroll and see which one I want to listen to today that's kind of how I find majority of the podcasts that I listen to um or that I watch 
it's through YouTube, honestly. Like, I only found Too Personal and it is what it is through Instagram because I follow uh, Joy Taylor and then I also follow, like, Cameron, okay? Don't ask me why I follow Cameron. He's hilarious, so that's why I follow him. I think listening to podcasts also goes back into, like, thinking highly of ourselves or speaking positive thoughts, speaking positivity into our lives and into everything that who we are, that speaks to who we are, okay? And listening to other people, like, tell their story, tell what motivates them, tell them, tell us, like, how highly they think about themselves gives us motivation to be in that same headspace or to want to be in that same headspace, which is why, like, I'm making this video right now is that we want to be in a glow up in our like we want to be the best become the best versions of ourselves okay like I'm on the latter half of being in my 20s okay and or I'm about to be okay let me not I'm in my mid 20s so I'm still young but like we're getting there we're getting a little bit closer to the time and um I'm trying to just become like a better person a better woman and be the best version of myself so i think tying all of these tips together into like my daily use will seriously help me get there and so you guys those are all of the tips that i am going to cover today if you want me to go into depth about certain situations that i brought up today please let me know in the comments like i like to talk about things that i care about and a lot of the stuff that i talked about today are things that i do care about like the friendship one yeah i care about that situation that topic so much and i am making a video over that so just be patient and wait for that but um, anything else, like just let me know in the comments and we will definitely get it out because like I said earlier in the video, this is a safe space. This is a family and I'm trying to make those vibrations like work here. So that is it for this video. I really hope you enjoyed it and I hope that this video, like you find that this video resonates with who you are and resonates with where you want to be and I hope that you guys use these tips because like I said in the earlier in the video I'm going to be using these tips to be on my own glow up journey and I'm actually going to continue to post things like this because that is what I'm trying to push out that is the person that I'm trying to like push out into the world right now and I just want to be the best version of myself if you enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to leave comments about your own glow up journey in the comment section, okay? Don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you really enjoyed me, if you really enjoyed this video. Just go ahead and tap it and yeah, girl, you know you want to. And if there's nothing else, me and Lani Mani Wani, we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.